Greetings to you all from Enschflow. I'm Helen, and uh, you've met me in my uh, keynote as well. So you've drank the Basil Kool-Aid, you migrated your team to Basil, and uh, you introduced caching and possibly even RBE. And of course, now, build time is reduced, no queuing, engineers are happy and productive. With Basil remote caching and remote execution, you can uh, see how companies are able to get their builds faster, and of course, faster builds means less, uh, less compute needed, so better in terms of cost. And then you get a call from your FinOps team. Why our cloud costs going up? What happened here? So Google research uh, has uh, concluded that over time, as developers build more, more code, build times go up. So optimizing build time is essential for productivity. Even minor reduction leads to big results. Uh, and if you have a horizontally scalable system and also remote caching and remote execution, you can throw more compute at it. More compute, faster builds, builds, uh, builds are reduced, and uh, also costs are going up because you just threw more cloud compute resources. So that is the challenge. How do you have cost-efficient system? So this is now sacred that builds must be fast, so we cannot touch that or your developers will be unhappy. But we also need to address the growing need to keep the costs fairly uh, efficient. So how do we do that? Uh, this, is our, this is our new goal now, so making platform that is fast and cost effective. This pattern is familiar as we worked with many customers over the past five years on making their builds faster with the Enschlo platform. And you can analyze your builds, restructure dependencies, reuse your remote execution for CI, clusters for CI workloads, squeeze even more from cloud uh, compute, uh, which let's face it, cloud providers are less incentivized to help you do that, uh, and even move some workers on-prem. I will unpack some of these one by one. So you start by seeing what efficiencies you can get with your open source Bazel invocation analyzer fully integrated into our UI for additional insights on every build. Uh -huh. As you can see in this build, it can be 84% faster when you implement these specific recommendations. Faster builds, lower costs. With the UI, you can further drill down into problem cases compare build invocations, see the root cause analysis, investigate cache misses, uh, and even move into our newly developing analytics sand sandbox for time series analysis and investigations. Not all builds are parallelizable, or at least not right away. Some of them will take a lot of work, especially when you have heavy integration tasks to, to do. So what else can you do in that case? We created CI runners with the goal to reduce cloud costs and speed up uh, builds even further, but also specifically uh, 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 allocate the workers such that it is the most effective use of compute. So it's built to run basal and non-basal workloads, and we have seen cost savings of 84% even on our own CI. And then your leadership comes to you with the question, can you cut your cloud costs in half in four weeks? This is a true story. So for that, we developed a, we developed a system with knobs that you can turn and make appropriate cost and performance adjustments. So at this point, uh, Enschlo has surpassed the na native cloud capabilities when it comes to resource management, such as auto-scaling and caching, because let's face it, they're less incentivized to do that for you, and we are. Uh, and so with this, this uh, auto-scaling capabilities, we can now react to uh, load in a better way. So we wanted to scale down the clusters when the load is low, up when it's high. We wanted to keep builds fast, avoid queuing, scale down aggressively but safe, safely, and reduce cloud spend. And so at this point, as you can see in the top chart, the Q to QH went down uh, on the green that you can see and uh, utilization improved, which leads to uh, better performance and also better cluster utiliza utilization and better costs. And we've seen this uh, result in, in, in some of our customer clusters in improvements of 36% on cloud compute, which, uh, which is in some cases is quite significant. It could be millions, depending on how large your clusters are. 
Another option that, uh, that we're now able to provide to you is to be frugal with what you've got. Let's say you have a lot of on-prem infrastructure that you want to make the best use of. Or you're on a bleeding edge and cloud providers cannot keep up with your exotic hardware or if you want to test latest NVIDIA dev kits. For that, we designed a system where you can add custom hardware while we continue to provide full support with our cluster. So with schedulers in the cloud and workers, worker pools that you can manage both on-prem and in the cloud, we're now able to make use of all of your hardware and as a result, improve uh, costs significantly and builds. And so just as one example for, for a customer savings of $70,000 a month simply by using this uh, technique. This became actually quite popular with our customers who are chip makers and uh, companies that do heavy duty machine learning, uh, simulations, embedded programming, and IoT. You can stack these tools and solutions for even greater savings. Uh, and we continuously look for more improvements as well. And most important, all these cloud cost savings, we pass directly to our customers. While we continue to support you 24-7, often focusing on managing very complex environments so that you can sleep at night and build your products that you love during the day. And we support uh, the builds with Bazel, Bach 2, CMake, Sung, and Chromium. We, uh, we typically don't brand our open source contributions, so you won't see Enchlo persistent workers or Enchlo credential helper in GitHub repo, but we contribute directly to Bazel and we're passionate about it. And it could be uh, major contributions like these projects, or it could be small bug fixes everywhere across the code, code base, including fixing annoying JSON uh, BES bugs, or as you've seen, issues that break Google internally as well. And, for everything else that we cannot, uh, we ca we, we cannot uh, do ourselves, there's a credit card. And so this year, we are platinum sponsor, one of the three, that ensures this conference continues to be free for all attendees. And we also are uh, uh, funding the important work that's being done by rules authors, SIG. And we bring the community together. And so this past year, we brought together with the help of uh, Booking.com, Apex AI, and Google in, uh, around the world, and we will continue to have more. I already have requests for folks to host us in London as well as in New York, so stay tuned for more information. Important uh, quick update, we have a game night tomorrow. so. I hope to see you there at LinkedIn Campus who are partnering with us and JetBrains on bringing this event to you. Just make sure that you sign in for the event. That's important. We want to finalize the attendee list today. And also bring your Basil Flags cards, pick them up at our booth. They might come in handy. We're also asking for folks to give us Basil trivia questions that we'll be asking during, during the game night as well. And if you came to our Munich game night, let me assure you that uh, this time we will have pizzas, uh, we will not have pizzas, we will have food delivered on time. Uh, many of you were very hungry last year. Uh, on Wednesday, we also have a very, very limited number of spots in our build meetup. So we'll have three tracks, Buck 2, Basil, and build infrastructure. And I'm especially looking forward to hands-on sessions. This is meant to be more unstructured, live, uh, hackathon style, merging a bunch of uh, bug two PRs with uh, meta engineers or having discussions with basal engineers about some of the important changes as well. And finally, I'm here because of the five years of work by our global Enchla team spanning five continents, just two more to add, so that's a mission. And, uh, these are the engineers that created many of the popular open source projects you use today, as, uh, including Basil, which was led by Ulf Adams, uh, our co-founder and CTO. And uh, we are very excited that, that now all of us together have created this thriving ecosystem. So all of us are now part of building new products and new features. And as these features get commoditized, we know that it's also very important to look for strategic partnership. A uh, partnership that with various folks in the ecosystem that will always look out for best tools and best technology to use for you. And especially make sure that there's always uh, fast and cost-effective solutions available so that you don't need to worry about those trade-offs and we can manage it for you. And so 
We're excited to continue to solve even bigger challenges in developer experience to keep engineers in flow. Uh, thank you, and I look forward to working with you, all of you, soon.